Hey everyone, I'm in the Wharf District in Southwest Washington, D.C. And while I'm in town, I'm gonna to be staying at the Intercontinental. Now let's check out my room at the Intercontinental DC Wharf. So this is one of two anchor suites on the property. It's 1300 square feet. That's a closet. This is a bathroom and check it out. This is the dinner table, some artwork there. And then this is a Juliet balcony, big enough for one person. Always a plane taken off. The anchor suites both have pool tables. Here's a little welcome note. Good afternoon, Brian. Nespresso machine, which is always convenient and a really powerful Bose Bluetooth speaker. Here's what I see when I work. I see planes take off, rather land at Reagan National Airport. So this is the living room. Now we're gonna check out the bedroom. Great view, you can control the blinds bedside. And here's a bathtub and a walk-in shower. Now I'm on the Intercontinental rooftop. There's a plane about to land at Ronald Reagan National Airport across the Potomac River in Arlington, Virginia. But from March to October, this is a very lively rooftop. There's a bar, there's a swimming pool. From the rooftop here, you can see landmarks like the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, Jefferson Memorial. That's the Rossland skyline off in the distance. And then as we go over across the Potomac, this is a yacht club right down here. That's the skyline of Crystal City or Pentagon City. Now we're gonna check out the spa and the hotel gym. So this is the spa at the wharf right here. Opens up at 11 o'clock. And then down on the left, this is the hotel gym. So one thing I noticed right away is that the treadmills face the Potomac River and Arlington, which is on the opposite side. And so do these two Peloton bikes right here. And then while you're exercising, to watch the Washington DC flag, the American flag. And my favorite, you could watch jets like this Southwest one right here, land into Ronald Reagan National Airport, which is in Arlington right across the river. But if the weather in DC is nice, you may want to instead start your morning with a leisurely stroll along Wharf Street right behind me. And you can see a lot of other people have the exact same idea as I do this morning. Now, because we're along the waterfront, this area does feel kind of touristy, but I love some of the little things here, like the cows that are outside the Ben and Jerry's. You could have a seat. And this is Recreation Pier. So at night, you'll see people, mostly younger people, swinging on these. Kayaking excursions are another option. Right there, you can see Lamani, which is a Greek seafood restaurant. And then you just get a great view of the skyline along Wharf Street. And right there is the Intercontinental. Now that's the Wharf Torch at the end of Recreation Pier. The reason you see black on it is because after the sun sets, this lights up and this becomes a little bit of a gathering point for people in the evening. And the lack of car traffic can really make you feel like you're on vacation on the wharf, even if you're not.
generally speaking, the wharf has a very modern feel. That's because most of what you'll look at has been built in 2017 and later. But if you want to get a look at maybe some of what was here before that, take a look at Jesse Taylor Seafood. They've been here since 1939. And you can see people are buying fresh seafood here, Alaska crab, hot steamed crabs and more. In the afternoon and evening, there's a little drink station set up right in the lobby. So it's winter time right now, so it's warm apple cider. Dockside is the hotel restaurant at the Intercontinental. Behind me is the promenade. Behind that are boats and the Potomac River. So I'm starting off with the berries, Greek yogurt and granola. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. I'm gonna be heading out to Indiana flying into Indianapolis next weekend. Also got New Haven, Connecticut, a little road trip coming up. And then I'm also gonna be heading out to Reno, Nevada. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon.